Hello, Will. Hey. Hey. Re uh, uh, all set, bro. Yeah. Ready when you are. All right, we'll get started, Mike, please. Hey, LeBron, it's uh, Mike Trudeau back in LA. So, what did you think accounted for that, the difference in the D in the third quarter and the fourth quarter? And the, just how, how much their, uh, you know, Houston, of course, 41 points in the third, and then that completely changed. What did you guys do? Um, I mean, we came out in the third quarter and we gave up back to back to back threes of just straight break, breakdowns. And uh, once you allow a team like that to get going, then it's hard to reel them back in. So that's what, that's, that was the result of the third quarter. We got an opportunity to, you know, catch our catch our breath, you know, from the third quarter to the fourth quarter. Fortunately, and we was able to turn the ship and uh, and, and make the adjustments um, to combat what we did in the third quarter and, and uh, be positive in the fourth. You really asserted yourself to start that fourth quarter, going to the rim for the dunk. Then you got up in transition. What were you noticing about the way Houston was defending uh, that, that had you uh, take that path to start the fourth quarter? No, it's just for me. Um, I mean, I started the fourth quarter 80s on the bench, and uh, you know, my teammates looked at me to try to be aggressive, either getting myself shots or getting my teammates shots. And uh, you know, I got an opportunity to see a couple seams, able to attack the rim, um, you know, and also find a couple guys um, as well. So you know, um, like I say, every possession dictates. Uh, different results, and uh, I was able to capitalize on a few of them. LeBron, it's Dave. Uh, plus minus doesn't always tell the story uh, for an individual player, but tonight it seemed to uh, reflect Rondo's game. He was a plus 28 in 28 minutes. Is only a second game in like six months. Um, what did he give you tonight, and um, did you see any differences in his approach in game two versus game one? Yeah, I think he was just, um, you know, extremely aggressive, not only offensively, but defensively, um, taking the challenge on James. Um, you know, taking the challenge on whoever he was guarding. I'm um, just trying to, you know, just trying to lead. I mean, that's what that's what Doe is. He's a leader, and uh, for us to have him back in the postseason, um, it's 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 a, it's a key for our team. And he comes in, he pushes the tempo, he gets guys involved. Um, you know, and that doesn't always show up in the stat sheet with Doe. You know, the intangibles that he does offensively and defensively. Um, his nose is always around the ball, and uh, he just makes plays for us. And tonight was another example of that. Uh, Allison. How's it? Well, we built the team to be able to play um, in different ways and, um, you know, be able to play big versus teams, be able to play small, be able to play um, in between. Um, you know, we, we built that from the beginning and uh, we have that, um, always had that in our toolbox. And tonight was an example of that, being able to go to that. Um, smooth was um, Markeith. Sorry, you might not know his nickname. Uh, uh, Keith was um, spectacular off the bench, giving us that, um, that instant offense, but just his grit. Um, you know, we love having him on the floor, but he was um, unbelievable for us in that second quarter. And uh, and everyone else who came in, like you said, you know, Doe, um, you know, AC, Kuz, those guys just came in and just gave us a big boost. Mark, um, you were talking before about the realization not having fans here, but tonight you guys have fans and that's been very Oh, I mean, for sure. I mean, you, you know, you definitely love having supporters in the building, but you also see me yelling over on that side when no one is over there. So it hasn't changed for me. Um, you know, it's definitely always great to see familiar faces, you know, people that you know that has been there along the grind with you and uh, throughout postseason runs for me personally as well. But um, just having our, um, you know, some of our family here and then having some of our Laker, uh, Laker um, personnel, um, people in the front office and things of that nature over there, um, you know, it, it's great for us. And uh, we just try to, you know, but at the same time, you keep the main thing, the main thing, you try to execute. But, you know, the emotions are, are definitely great when you're making plays out there and, um, and, and you're doing it for um, your, your brothers, your teammates, and, uh, you know, your family and friends as well. Why did you decide not to have your kids come here? Say that again? Why did you decide not to have your kids come here? Why did I decide not to have my kids come here? Because there's nothing for them to do. I mean, I got a 16 year old. I mean, he's going to sit in the bubble and do what? Um, I got a 13 year old. He's going to do what? Um, and then my five-year-old girl, there's nothing for her to do here. The park is not open. I mean, there's only so many times she can go to the pool. You know, my kids are too adventurous and, 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 and they love to do so much stuff. It's, it makes no sense for them to be here. 
there's nothing for them to do here. Go outside, come back in, go outside, come back in. They can stay in LA and, you know, they're great. <laughs> there's literally nothing for them to do here. This is not a kid friendly place, just to be honest. One more question with Will. All right, yes, one more, uh, Melissa Rowland. Hey, LeBron, you talked a lot about the Rockets' speed in the last game. Um, did you guys adjust to that the way you were hoping they, uh, that your team would tonight? Yeah, uh, like I said, after game one, uh, sometimes you need one game to be able to understand the speed that they play with. And I think we adjusted from game one to game two. Um, extremely fast team. Um, they have, um, you know, everyone keeps talking about the small ball, but their speed and their activity defensively and offensively it's something that can catch you off guard, um, you know, from, you know, like a game one situation. And uh, we got a feel for that. And uh, we understand how hard and how much, uh, you know, how, you know, every possession and, and how much scrambling and how much running and how much pace and how, how physical, you know, the game is going to be versus this team because they're very good, uh, extremely good, uh, no matter who's out on the floor. So uh, we did a good job of that tonight. All right. Thanks, LeBron. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.